Today on the channel, we're flying high again like a young Ozzy Osbourne with the latest Ultimate Edition from Mattel and possibly the final edition of Jeff Hardy. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And today, from the latest wave of the Ultimate Editions, we've got possibly last time in the line, Jeff Hardy. But for all your wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE to save 10%. That's exactly what I did here as this came fresh from Ringside Collectibles. Not sure exactly when they're going to hit traditional retail, but Ringside does have in stock if you needed your Jeff Hardy fix. And like I said, last time in the line, I would assume, with Jeff Hardy. We haven't seen any other announcements, anything coming. So this is probably it for you Jeff Hardy fans. Now we wait and we wait until see what Jazzwares does with an AEW version of Jeff Hardy. But who's to say if Jeff Hardy will return to AEW? It's all kind of up in the air. But uh, one thing we know that is not up in the air is the way we do unboxings around here. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's check out the packaging on this one. Very Ultimate Edition packaging. We know it. We love it. We've seen it before. Uh, much like a shoebox, as I always say. We got an extra head for Jeff Hardy, but only one. We got a necklace. We got a shirt. We got extra hands. And we got Jeff himself uh, wearing his fabulous painting white pants. He was a painter in a former life. It looks like he spilled some paint on him, too. Uh, I think he's heading over to Sherman Williams, I think is what he's going to be doing after uh, he gets out of the package here. Uh, Ultimate Edition logo right down there below looking good. Of course, you got a younger version of Jeff Hardy going on right there. Got to say, for me, not his most iconic look and one I always kind of scratch my head on. It's just weird, the paint up there. I'm all for face paint. You guys know that, but I don't know about this kind of face paint. Very, very strange. Uh, on the top, all the sides, all that kind of stuff. Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy. On the back, we got a little bit of blurb going on. Of course, we got some glamour shots, some action figure shots, all that kind of fun stuff, and the blurb down there in the tail of the tape. Without further ado, let's see what it says about our old Jeff Hardy friend. Six foot one from Cameron, North Carolina. Unseasonably warm this time of year, I've been told. Uh, Swanton Bomb is his finisher and his career highlight WWE champion. The charismatic enigma literally climbed the ladder of success to new extreme heights, always one to test the limits of what's possible. He captured the hearts and imaginations of the WWE Universe around the world like a young Rio. Uh, just capturing hearts everywhere he goes, and that's what she does as well. Interesting, it's like the Shop Zone shirt on the back here, and they do show a spot of him wearing that. Uh, so it does look, and I know some people I think have said when this was first announced it was kind of a mashup of different looks, and I gotta be honest, I'm not a I'm not that big of a Jeff Hardy expert to tell you all of his different looks. Uh, that's just not me, but uh, it looks okay. It looks okay. We'll see what uh, goes on here. Let's get him out of the package. Let's get this opened. Uh, on the bottom, they always have little Easter eggs here. No more words. The charismatic enigma. Oh, good for him. Good for him. We'll pull him out like a shoebox, as we always say. Just folds right up. You can keep this if you want to. See you later off to the side. There it goes. Plastic prison time. What do we got for Jeff Hardy here? Look at that. All that kind of stuff going on. There he is. Uh, we're going to have to unbuckle him here. He's got a little bit of a twist tie around him. Bam. There it is. Let's pop this head out. Shirt going out. There it goes. Hands. 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 And the figure. And we're off to the races. Off to the races. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, we got one of these Spider-Man style. Boo. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Let's look at the accessories first. We'll start with some of these hands going on here. Of course, Jeff Hardy always has the crazy hands. He's got the little shoot me hands. He's got the do, do, do hands, whatever he does when he comes out. I don't know. I've never understood it. These kids, even though he's older than me, uh, I don't know what he's up to. Uh, but we got the crazy hands. Like I said, we got the gun pointing uh, hands, point to his head hands. We've seen these before as well. They do got the detail, the paint, and kind of the wraps going on. The painted nails and painted black, of course. We do have those. And then we get the more uh, kind of Randy Orton-esque hands going on. Same kind of pattern with the painted nails, all that fun stuff. So two sets of hands there, including the hands on him. Unfortunately, no fists for Jeff Hardy. He's not going to be throwing any punches. He's keeping it legal in the ring. Good for him. We do get a shirt, and it is a uh, Velcro shirt here. It is a tank top, uh, and it does have Jeff Hardy's face. It's an interesting one, though. Uh, as it's old Jeff Hardy. I mean, this is like brood Jeff Hardy. It's like the ringside collectible exclusive Jeff Hardy on a later version. And 
just very strange look. I guess he's giving a throwback to himself in t-shirts that he's wearing. I don't know, absolutely wild there. But it is that kind of same soft material, stretchy, I don't know the substance or what it's made of exactly, but it's a lot like the last Jeff Hardy we saw in the Ultimate Edition line. Kind of that same material going on uh, with his picture right on the front there. We do get the Hardy Boys necklace. Of course, he wore this many a times over the years. Uh, necklace, you pop the head on, put it on, there it is. Uh, nice sculpt, kind of beaded around there, and all silver gray is what it is. So we got that there. And then we got an extra head. We'll dive into that here in a second. But let's take a look at the body. Let's see what's going on with Jeff Hardy here. Of course, this being an Ultimate Edition, we got a little bit more articulation than your traditional Elite. Head is removable. Looking at the head right here, I do see some paint application issues. I got a little overspray on the cheek, and then I got a little black end of his nose. That is unfortunate. I got the little sh uh, shorter haircut going on here with Jeff, not the long hair, black. He's got the uh, headband up there, keeping it all in there. And then, of course, he does have the face paint uh, going on, and then he's got a little bit of his beard going on, a little bit of a mustache. Uh, and paint around the eyes. The eye apps do look good on this one. Uh, taking a look at some of the articulation here, of course, you get the butterfly shoulders on the Ultimate. We're used to that. Arms up, down, all around. Bicep cut, of course. Double-jointed, pinless elbows on here. Hands side to side, a little bit loose in this right hand, actually. Uh, we do get side to side there, and of course, these are removable. Uh, same on the other arm. Of course, you get the big hula hoop diaphragm in the middle, and then you get the traditional waist. You do get a thigh cut, double jointed knees, but we do got pins in the knees for those keeping track at home. He does have his little handkerchief out there, like he's going to be in prison and throw this over to try to escape tying his bed sheets together. That's what it always reminds me of, uh, but that is very strange. And it looks like we got some paint overspray as well, some black overspray onto his belt. So not the cleanest paint amps, paint applications uh, with this figure at all. We do get a little bit of zebra striping out here on the pants. Uh, we do get the ankle articulation, and then the Todd McFarlane toe articulation is on here as well. Uh, very, very interesting. Now looking at this other head here for Jeff Hardy. Oh boy, this is the screaming mad Jeff Hardy. And I'm probably going to use this one. This shows a heck of a lot more personality than the stock head here. And then, unfortunately, like I said, my stock head has a little paint splats on it. So I think this is the one I'm going to use for me. And actually, I do think it looks better. Uh, but it's the same kind of thing going on, just a screaming head sculpt instead of just uh, the more passive, just run-of-the-mill head sculpt we got going on right here. Uh, some of the paint apps on here, too. I didn't talk about it. Uh, the nice black and white attack here on kind of his fishnets he wears on his arm. And then I really do like the green and gold uh, going on here, the yellow and green. Looks like Oakland A's colors. I'm sure Jeff Hardy, huge Oakland A's fan. He was a kid, I'm sure, loving Jose Canseco and Mark McGuire and Walt Weiss and Terry Steinbach and Dennis Eckersley and Bob Welch and Dave Henderson and Ricky Henderson, Dave Stewart, Tony La Russa. We could go on for days. We could talk Oakland A's 80s baseball. Uh, I'm sure Jeff Hardy was all in on that. I'm not exactly sure. I got one little spot missing paint. I don't know if that's uh, supposed to be that way or if that's a miss paint app. Not exactly sure right there. But uh, an interesting Jeff Hardy. Uh, is this a must-have Jeff Hardy? I am not going to go that far. Obviously, if you're a Jeff Hardy fan, a Jeff Hardy completionist, an ultimate completionist, you got to pick this one up. But to me, comparing it to his prior Ultimate Edition... I think I'm going to have to give the Duke to this one. There's a lot more going on with this one that I like. Obviously, it's a little different eras of Jeff Hardy. Uh, but this one just almost seemed a little rushed. Just a little rushed to me. And like I said, his final figure. Now, one other thing to note here is there is a ton of reuse between these two figures. Uh, a lot of it is the exact same. The waist down, the exact same paint mold. You're just, get, just getting different paint going on. Of course, the handkerchief on the back, just a different color. Uh, throughout this whole thing, you're getting a lot of the same reuse. He's a little bit bigger on the top on this one than he is down here. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this is kind of the diaphragm chest. Uh, a lot of people swear by this Jeff Hardy. I wouldn't say it's even near my top five favorite Jeff Hardys of all time. Uh, but this one is what it is. It represents an interesting point of his career, uh, but it's not going to be something that's going to blow the doors off anything. I don't think you'll see this in my top 10 ultimates of 2022, spoiler alert, uh, but it is what it is really. And it reminds me a little bit of the Jack's Ruthless Aggression. I believe this is Adrenaline Series 1-2 pack with Tommy Dreamer, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's not quite the same thing, but a bit of a similarities here, I guess. And this is one of the most valuable Jeff Hardys in the Ruthless Aggression line, as most know that. Uh, I'm sure. But some interesting accessories with the hands. The extra shirt's always nice. The necklace is okay. Maybe an extra head would have helped this one a little bit more. I don't know. What more could have been done for this Jeff Hardy? You guys can sound off in the comments down below. 
Let me know your thoughts on this, Jeff Hardy. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? All in, all out? Let me know your thoughts on this one. Just not setting my world on fire, I guess is where I'm going to put this one. But you guys let me know. And then while you're here, you might as well like the video. Give it the old thumbs up. Leave me the comment, like I said. But you got to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. As we're going to unbox Roman Reigns as well. So you don't want to miss that one. And we're unboxing everything Ultimate Edition here on the channel. So you don't want to miss a video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And then, of course, you can support the channel on Patreon. Where you can get this video, many other videos, much, much earlier. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways and also the best way to support the channel. And you can hit me up on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson and pick up a t-shirt. So for Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy, I'm Ultimate Edition Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.